Hello Cancer, thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan, illustrated by Mark Evans. For the support of Oracle Cards, I'm using the Angel's Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Right, I've already shuffled, so let's go ahead and pop these in. Like, I don't really want to pull another one. Alright, so... Is it going to be one-sided? Alright, so... Noticing right off the bat, I don't want to put anything in the environment section. So let's go forward here and see why that is, because that seems interesting to me. Now, your overall energy has some interesting aspects of it. It seems kind of complicated. Maybe this is why we don't see anything in the environment. What tips in first for the overall energy is the tower card, which is usually an abrupt change, typically for the better, even though quite uncomfortable, usually. Then we have four cards that popped out all at once. Three of Wands, Six of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the World card. Now, the Six of Wands kind of eclipses the, um, the Ten of Swords. So it's feeling like you're going to be doing a lot better in this new situation, but really kind of mourning the last one. And feeling defeated in the last one, but feeling really confident in the next one. So it's kind of like um, forcing yourself to be happy based on where you're going and not centering on the disappointment of the past, even though the disappointment of the past is quite crushing. You also have the Three of Wands and the World. You're moving forward, and you're feeling like, you know what, this is something that's going to take you into a whole new phase of life. What was going on before is completed. It's not something that can be gone back to. It has to move on, and it's time to move on. And I feel like with the Three of Wands there, with the world, you're ready to, and you're engage you're embracing it, and you're engaging yourself in that. Now, again, as it comes into this time frame, it is the Tower card. So I'm feeling like you're not expecting to move as fast, at the very least. You may not even be been expecting to even move on from the situation the way you are. But when the shock comes to your way that things have to go forward, I feel like rather than get beat down by it, you embrace it and move forward. Um, and you let the possibilities of the future eclipse the disappointments of the past. Because the disappointments of the past are pretty strong, but your optimism, I feel like you're holding on to that as tightly as possible and you're letting that pull you into the future. All right, now, as we're going on here, I am noticing, this, this again, that there's a vacancy here in the environment. So it's not talking about the environment at all. It's all about how you're feeling, how you're handling life. Because that seems to be the most empowering way to do this. Energy is kind of puffing up again, which is fine. You have the Knight of Cups. So there was something... This is how the situation is coming in. And I feel like this is talking about the Ten of Swords, like what you're leaving behind that didn't work out, that you're disappointed in. Um, this seems to be the situation that's not to your liking, as in the way it turned out. Because there's the, the Knight of Cups here makes me feel like you're very, 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 very happy, very engaged in this situation. I'm very active in it. And as it goes forward, the Karma card, it moves into the Karma card, which is judgment or... <sighs> Sometimes it's things coming to a climax, if you will. Something is causing this situation to kind of come forward and it's it's kind of acknowledging that the situation... I feel like it's just like coming to the end of your rope. And you may not have been realizing it was coming to the end, but I feel like as you were getting closer to it, you might have been kind of feeling a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of... Um, what do I want to say here? A little bit of foresight to realize that something wasn't right, feeling a little off, because I feel like you might have been having some type of inklings that something wasn't quite on point. But you wanted to feel the you did not want it to end at this point. And you got the forgiveness card right above it, because I feel like you're not really happy that the situation has come to an end. And it feels, when, I'm, when I get this, um, this rope reference, I feel like it's an abrupt stop. You may have had quite... 
you might have had little feelings that something wasn't right or something was about to happen, but I don't think you saw like the abrupt end coming the way it's coming. Because it feels like it stopped short. Like it's the end of the rope. Just like, boom, nowhere else to go. Done. And I feel like the forgiveness here is like, for whatever reason, it's stopping the way it is. And I'm noticing this is up in your area here, like your mental aspect. I'm kind of getting a dual feeling. You're either one, already like letting it go, and you're just looking at the situation for what it is, and you just don't want to be held down by it. And you're realizing like being upset about it is not going to make you any happier. It's just going to make it linger, and it's just not going to work for you. On the other hand, if you are upset about it and it's hard to let go, the advice here is like the sooner you can forgive and move on, the better your life gets. Okay. And then this is when, at this point, this is when the tower hits. The tower hits, and then we, we go through the changes. You're very unhappy that this last situation ended, but you're, something is kicking you forward to the future, because whatever this ending is, it didn't stop without giving you some type of opportunity in the future, especially when you have the, the tower here. You were given an opportunity to center on instead. And I feel like that's something you want to go. I feel like you want to go that direction. It's just letting go of whatever went wrong. Will that hold you back? Because once you let go of that, you'll just center on the forward. Um, and the farther you get away from this moment, the more you're going to center on the forward. Which is a lot, it feels a lot better in this re reading. You do have the Ten of Wands here. So I'm not going to like negate that. That's in your action. Like You are moving on from the situation. The situation here with the karma card, you did not like it ending. The forgiveness here, the forgiveness and the um, six of wands, like I feel like you're moving forward very strongly in a positive manner, but no matter how much I want to, the ten of swords is still in the reading and it's still alive there in the sense of like it's saying like you're going to have some regrets, you're going to have some disappointment moving on from it. And it's going to linger a little bit, but I feel like it's all about what you do with it. Some of you are just going to kind of push it down and just kind of let it tr try to like not give it any voice because you just kind of want to move on from it. I feel like others of you might vent about it with people every now and then. But it's definitely something that has to surface. Some of you just might think it through, but I feel like it's just something where the, the emotions are going to surface. Patterns or certain situations that were a part of that are going to resurface. And you're just kind of, it's going to kind of like defrost on its own, if that makes sense. Because I'm seeing this Ten of Wands and it's just kind of like, it's really connected to the Ten of Swords, I feel. And the stress going forward from here is just what was lost. And the fact that you had to move on from the last situation. It wasn't really like a choice. Um, or at least like, it didn't feel like a choice to me. If it was a choice, it was just a choice where you could either stay in the situation that turned bad. Or you could move forward in a better situation to be happy again. And you chose happiness. All right, so I feel like this is just acknowledging that, like, the whole thing about the burdens you're holding here going into the future is it's getting over the karma card and the situation that did end that you did not want to end. Um, and the farther you get away from this moment, the easier it gets. But they're saying if you go with a heart of forgiveness, your heart gets lighter and it makes it easier for you to walk away from it. If you don't, if you kind of have this upside down... I feel like the burdens stay and it's just, it makes it more trudging because it's kind of reliving the past and like the what if, what what if, the could if, all that stuff, which just um, drains your energy. It doesn't serve you. Um, at the very least, because I've had this come up before in a different reading, if you're looking at it in the sense of like, well, I don't want to repeat a pattern, which is very valid, that it's very valid to look at a situation, what went wrong, and decide what you would have done differently, but then to accept it and still forgive it and move on. Just rewriting it in your mind, like, if this happened again, this is how I would have, this is how I would handle it. That's great. But as long as you have that with the forgiveness, it should fade into the past without holding you down. And you should have that plan or that way of handling it if you need to, to like, help you survive it or move forward if it comes up again. I feel like we just needed to acknowledge that. Now, the, as we go into the future, there's two last cards. There's a year from now, which to me, when I see this card, it doesn't have to be a literal year, 
but the very least it's going to feel like I give the analogy of a kid waiting for Christmas if you ask a, a, a kid uh, in August how far is Christmas away just for argument's sake if you're familiar with Christmas or some type of holiday and it's only like four months away but you ask them and be like oh it's a lifetime away it's never going to come here like it feels like that that's this card. That's just denoting. Like, or if there's some other, you know, something where it's maybe three, four months away, but it feels like it's so far away because you want it. That's what this is saying. It's just, it feels far away. In this situation, I feel like this is saying that this is the transition into the new phase. I feel like you're not jumping right into whatever. I feel like whatever you're centering on to get you forward the new the new situation you're going towards it's going to be a while before you're into that the same way you were the last one before you start moving solid in a solid direction but it, it can be a good thing it's just going to take a while to really get started i feel like that's what this is denoting it's going to take a while to really get started it's not just going to be like drop one pick up another it's going to be the last one stops pretty abruptly and you start centering on the new direction you want to go and it takes a while to really get up to the speed in that one or get everything going in that direction. But it is going to happen is what it's going to say. And it can be an enjoyable process, although you might prefer it to be more active than it is. But it's going to take a while to get there. I feel like that kind of... I feel like I should let that card go. So I'm going to let that card go. And then you also have one other card which I found very interesting. In your action line, there's something better. One of the reasons that this is going to take a while is because you might edit the plan. You're centering on things you want to do. You have ideas about where you want to go in the future. But I feel like that some other things might come your way. and You might have some changes or might want to change some things. Um, you're definitely centered on something positive in the future that you're very interested in. I'm just feeling this, it might take on some new life or might have some ed ed edits going forward. You could even go a completely different direction. It's completely up to you what you want. But I feel like it's just saying be open to the possibilities for what will really make you happen. Um, did I just say what would really make you happen? Be open to the possibilities because things that can happen for you are not limited to what you know now. More things are going to come. More opportunities are going to come. And you have your choice to stay with the same path or go different ways. I feel like they're saying just be open because there might be some things that fit you better and might make you happier. Um, I feel like they're saying don't go crazy getting invested in certain things. Search them out. Research them. But don't get overly invested because you might find that there's things going forward that you prefer to do over what you're seeing now. Okay. I feel like that's good. All right. So how are we? I think we're good. All right. I think we're good here. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email. jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.